All right, got another yet not so shocking story, a display of once again the kind of fruit that comes out of the blasphemous rabble known as the Quran and the Mohammedan religion. This is an article uh, on Jihad Watch. It says, this is once again out of Nigeria. It says, uh, Muslims have doctor killed 35 Christian pastors in the past 17 months. And you see the news media bats, not, not a single eye is batted at this by the news media. Because, you know, it goes against this narrative of the Muslim victimhood, the, the Muslim victimhood mentality. But it says here on Jihad Watch, It's quite a Herculean task to get one's head around how many Christians have been attacked, abducted, and killed already in 2022. Though one might hear about individual events and the OO church attack, it is quite tough to get a sense of the scale. After terrorists set off explosives at St. Francis Catholic Church in OO, Ando State two weeks ago, the blood of 38 innocent worshippers who were murdered in cold blood was splashed on the ground around the whole of the church. The oval attack, according to eyewitness, eyewitnesses featured an unusual amount of planning and coordination characterized uh, and coordination characterized the violence as multiple gunmen inside and outside the church shot prisoners before escaping in a getaway car. Painfully, the attack on St. Fran Francis Catholic Church was not the only one that jolted Christians in Nigeria. In fact, more than 100 worshippers have been killed that week across the country. Now I need to point something out. Roman Catholicism is not is not uh, Christianity whatsoever. Roman Catholicism is just heathen Greco-Roman religion repackaged under the form of Christianity. So, but the problem is, is that the Muslims, they are attacking them because they think they're Christians. I'll put it that way. But it says here, continuing on, a few days before the old incident, uh, suspected militants killed 32 Christians and an evangelical church uh, winning all parish in Kajuru, Kandana State. After the attack, church members could not attend the service due to the trauma. The attackers repeatedly arrived, or reportedly arrived, and left in an inconspicuous motorcycles. The Plateau State, which borders southern, the southern part of Kandana State, two Christian students were killed af after a Sunday service when suspected terrorists visited the school hostel at night and killed the two male students. Barely seven days ago, 11 Christians were murdered in Binu's state's Igma community in Oka. I'm probably not saying that right. The local government area, which many consider as which many consider as re as religious persecution. And this just goes on and on and on. I mean, just Muslims are doing this on a on a constant basis because what this is the kind of fruit of the Mohammedan death cult, really, because. And just like the Roman Catholic Church, the Muslims have the same kind of thirst for the blood of God's saints that the Roman Catholic Church had. You know, that's what it comes down to. That's why I said that they're just being true to their demonic blasphemous rabble known as the Quran. And also true to what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 to 12, about Ishmael being a wild man. And these Muslims are definitely wild men. I mean, there's no way to get around them. So I wanted to show you guys that yet more displays of the bloodthirsty fruit of Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.